get ready with me for dinner except i'm pissed as fuck i literally don't think anyone can understand how angry and like understand my anger right now oh my fucking god why am i missing my earring okay i like love when my friends want to borrow stuff and like wear my clothes i like actually encourage it literally if my friends want to borrow a shirt i'm like yes like take it if they want to borrow makeup i'm like yes take it you can use whatever you want but like for some reason when it comes to my siblings i'm like fuck no like no you can't take it like absolutely not but like obviously most of the times if they do ask nicely i will say yes like reluctantly but when they take stuff without permission holy shit i literally go like and like i go crazy it makes me so angry if you don't have siblings you have been blessed by the gods well like also like only childs can be kind of like annoying sometimes actually that's like a really controversial topic but like you know what i mean but bro when they take shit without like <laughs> okay nor the fact that i literally just shrunk but i can't open my drawers when my chair is like too high up so i was literally just thinking of a shirt that i used to wear all summer last summer uh, last year and it's just like gone and I literally will not rest until I find that top. So I went to my sister's room and guess where it was? It was in her closet. Okay, that was my little tantrum. Oh my god, I fucking hate being this short. It looks so weird on camera. There's like so much room above my head. Um, but, <clears throat> ooh, on top of that, I have to pack for my trip tomorrow. And I just got back from a trip yesterday. So my suitcase is still like packed. So I'm trying to find the most like efficient way to pack without having to like unpack everything but i'm so fucking excited for this trip I'm so excited to take you guys with me and bring my best friend with me so it's gonna be so much fun but on top of that my room's like a disaster okay pause i got this in the mail yesterday and i've been wanting to try oh my god i just i can't open stuff properly i've been wanting to try this forever this is the calorie i don't know if i said that right sunproof setting spray and yeah it just looks really refreshing smells really good i'm just not used to like such fine setting sprays because all my setting sprays are usually like super harsh on my face anyways back to my room i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in a sat in it a... what okay room reveal i literally showed this in my get ready me this morning okay what it doesn't look that bad on camera it's so bad in person but it's actually so annoying like having to clean your room when nothing like fits in it this is my sign to stop purchasing things Okay, I'm not going to do my mascara again because my eyes are a little bit itchy. Um, but yeah, I'm just... Oh, I squirted too much. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. Okay, so I just got back from the airport like two minutes ago. And I don't really feel like unpacking because that is a lot of work. I did a lot of shopping in California. Like, I have a whole new stack of bracelets. And I'm just like in love with... As I was saying, I'm in love with every bracelet I bought. I also went to Dave & Buster's and got like a fidget toy. Anyways, I was so scared to fly home because before I boarded my plane, a TikTok popped up on my For You page of plane crashes. And I was so scared, like it was a sign, like I thought I was gonna die. Also on the plane, I had to sit by random people because it was open seating. And I was like one of the last boarding classes and I couldn't sit by Peyton. I forgot to say what I was getting ready for, but I'm getting ready for my boyfriend to come over because I haven't seen him in a million years. Anyways, right now I have a tear in my contact and I can't like change them because I don't have any other contacts. So I've been suffering with a tear in my eye for like three days, basically. By the way, guys, I feel like blending out concealer with a brush is way better than a beauty blender because it creases less. My mom is screaming at me to unpack, but let's be real. I'm not unpacking right now. I'm tired. I feel like being home is so bittersweet. I don't even know if I'm using the right word, but like I miss California, but I also missed my bed. And I never got like a bed to myself. I had to sleep with somebody every time. Oh my gosh, guys, I have to show you my tan. Okay, this was me just laying out for like one hour. Um, whenever you're tanning, I don't recommend not eating or drinking anything before you go because I made that mistake and I threw up. And it was such a bad feeling because I was hot, dizzy, and puking. It was not fun. But at least I got tan. Anyways, tell me why at the family dinners, my Get Ready With Me account was the main topic. It was so embarrassing because they pulled up videos of my account. And whenever I watch my own videos, I just get icked out. 
We've been home for five minutes and everybody's already yelling at each other and I'm getting yelled at and everything. It's very chaotic. My lash curler is on its last life right now. So if anybody wants to recommend any, that would be great. Somebody said my spam account wasn't me, but it very much is. I don't know if y'all know my spam account, it's in my bio, but I just want to make it clear that that account is me. And I thought it was obvious that it was me because I have it tagged in my bio, but I guess not. Anyways, bye guys. Thank you for watching today's Get Ready With Me. I don't really have anything on except work from 9 to 1. And that's about it. Since I had quite a few full on days recently, I'm just going to use this as like my Sunday reset day. So I'm going to wipe up my room, everything, clean everything up. Because I stayed in my room last night. I came home from Lily and Lucy's and everything. And my room was such a mess. I didn't have any time to clean it because we were going out for dinner last night with our family. So yeah, I really should do that. Like wipe down everything, deep clean it all. I worked this morning with Alana, which I'm so excited about because I haven't actually worked in ages. So that's going to be so much fun. I think I put on so much bronzer just then. I don't know if I'm going to add in any love tint today or not. I think I might just leave it on. I'm actually so tired this morning. I woke up at like 6 o'clock, which normally is pretty good for me. But yesterday, since we're at Lilling Lucy's, I slept until 8 o'clock, which is so unlike me. So now I'm really tired. I made coffee though, so should be good by work. Yesterday we went down to Burley and the water was so clear, like the beach literally looked amazing and I regret so much not bringing a towel. Ended up going to the pool instead which is like okay for summer but in spring it's still not that hot so the water was kind of cold but we still made the most of it. We just got up really early and ended up tanning for most of the day. My hair is really starting to dry. I really should start doing it first before I start doing my makeup. Now it's a lip oil, this is my favourite thing recently. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye everyone. Good morning guys. Get ready with me for the day. I went to summertime ball last night. I had the best time ever, but like it is hitting me this morning. Oh my gosh. Still can't believe that I was literally in the room with Sabrina Carpenter, Ray, Ella Henderson, Megan Trainer, H. I don't know, David Guetta, everyone last night. Like, oh my god, it was the best time ever. I only got my tickets on Saturday as well, so I was like even more excited because it was such a last minute plan, but I knew I wanted to go because of the amazing lineup. I got standing tickets and I've never really stood for many things before. And I thought I was gonna like die because of my legs, but I was actually fine. We pushed our way to the front of the standing, right? I could literally see them like, oh my god, we were so close. It was really, really good. Guys, when I tell you, I was literally crying when Sabrina came on. Like, she was amazing amazing and david guest was the last act and it, oh my gosh it was just so good he was probably one of my favorites because it was just like a massive rave guys also if my eye looks really sore a mosquito flew in it this morning and it, was, <laughs> it literally blew up like i was like are you kidding me a mosquito just flown in my eye anyways we got up to summertime ball like right when it started rudimental had just started playing um but i wasn't too bothered because i do like rudimental but i wasn't like there to see rudimental i was in like the middle of the standing section i was like i really want to get to the from because i just want to be at like the bar so i can just like at least hold on to something don't ask me how but somehow i got to the front of standing and then once i was there i was like i'm staying here and we stood there for the whole time we was there for all the acts it was amazing it literally wasn't one act that was bad like i loved all of them and i knew songs from every one of the acts which was so good i got home at like half 12 and then i didn't go to sleep till about half one because i was looking at all the videos because i was making sure that i actually was videoing i don't actually know if i'm going out today but i've got to film some content so i'm just putting on a bit of makeup now just so i look a bit more alive okay the mascara today is not hitting but we're just gonna have to deal with that i'm just gonna put on some lip liner okay i'm all ready now bye guys i need to be grounded from the outside world because i cannot act right I'm getting ready to go to my friend's house right now, but I have a story time. Okay, so yesterday I made it get ready with me for church, right? Like I went to Father's Day service. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? Okay, anyway, so we sit through church, the service ends, and at the end of our service, they do offering, right? So me and my family are sitting at like the end of this pew, and I'm on the end, and then there's like a huge gap, and then there's like a couple on this side. Okay, before I go on, let me just preface this by saying my little sister says the word gyat as a joke like every other sentence. So it is just like engraved in my head, okay? 
And I never even like say any like TikTok brain rot. Like I hate that. That gets on my nerves. Okay, so back to my story. So I'm sitting on this far side of the pew. There's a big space and then there's a couple sitting on the other side. So when the offering bucket comes on this side, me being a nice person, I get up and I start to walk over to hand it to the girl on the other side. So I get up to give this girl the bucket and I'm handing her the bucket. This bro. This is the bucket and I'm handing it to her and I'm meant to be like, here you go, or there, or hi, I don't know anything. But you know what I said? I said kiat. Don't ask me because I don't know. Like, I am still shook that I even, like, said that. I would never say that in a normal sentence. I don't know why that came out. Like, how awkward. Me and this girl meet in the middle. I'm handing her the offering bucket and I say, Kiat, and turn around. I'm seriously, like, still in denial that that even happened because I'm just so confused. There is no telling what that girl was thinking. Like, she was kind of, she's probably is too old to know what that means, but, like, makeup brush in my eyeball that was humiliating of all places of all circumstances of all people like a stranger at church during offering really mia somebody contact the authorities and say put this girl on house arrest it was kind of like funny though because it gave me something to die laughing about but was it really worth it no okay i am out the door bye get ready with me but besides i'm just doing skincare i put on these peach slices nose pore patches last night they work really well for me. And let me just show you guys. Um, for reference, these are normally clear and you see all that gunk. Yeah, that came off my nose. I have really bad oils around my nose and that takes it all off and like the gunk and pores like all gone. Um, but today I don't think I'm really gonna do anything, so I'm just putting on skincare because my skin needs a break. <laughs> Still really tired though. I might go on a walk and go play pickleball today, but that's about it. I love when there's days that you don't have anything planned and you just like can relax and don't have to worry about anything. It's so nice. Um, and this is what I slept in, and I'm just gonna stay in this for now because I feel like it. But that's it. Bye, guys. I love you. I haven't done it get ready with me in so long. I've been loving doing the cooking content, but I'm excited to just like come back and talk to you guys. Also gonna address two things. First thing, yes, I'm using sunglasses as a headband because I can't find clips. And yes, I'm having an insane skin breakout right now, as you guys can see. Literally within 48 hours, my skin went from pretty much clear to an eruption of God knows what. I've been really trying hard to not get down on myself about it because I know everybody goes through stuff like this. And I also know it's just temporary. It's kind of just figuring out what's going on and how to fix it. Ever since I graduated, I've really been trying to heal my gut. And I've been taking a lot of probiotics and prebiotics and I've been eating that coconut cold yogurt and I really have seen it such a difference in my gut health. But along with that can come a purge. And this is basically exactly what my skin looked like when I first went on tretinoin and I had a tretinoin purge. So I'm going back to my dermatologist to see if there's anything else that I should be worried about or any other way to go about this, but I'm hoping that's just what it is and it'll kind of go away as my body regulates. Anyways, though, we have a bunch of our friends visiting. Girls weekend, we're going to Montauk. Been away the past two weekends, so it feels so good to be in the same place. And next weekend, we have Palm Tree too, so we have even more people coming, and we're gonna get to stay. I also feel like we haven't gotten ready or done our makeup literally since the last time I made it get ready with me, I think. Also been really trying to let my skin breathe, but it does feel nice to feel like ready and feel pretty, you know? Really had to adjust the makeup products that I use because I usually go for a very glowy base. I use like Lumi Glotion or something like that. So I definitely had to adjust in using something a little less glowy because that really brings out my texture, which is Probably my biggest insecure when I break out is insecurity. That made no sense, sorry. I used both of these today, which I've never used before. It's the Lancome 10 Edol Ultra Wear Foundation and Concealer, and they look beautiful, honestly. I also have an irrational fear of looking cakey, especially because we're gonna be in daylight, but I feel like my skin looks pretty natural. Just throw on a little lippy, and now I'm just gonna... Okay, I gotta run, I gotta get dressed, and then help one of my friends with their hair, so... Love you guys so much, Mwah. bye! In elementary, I used to be that type of kid who would wear their hair super, like, in a high ponytail. And I'd walk on my tippy toes, and I'd walk a certain way. That way my hair would swing side to side. Like, I actually did this so much. It was not good. I remember one time, I think, I can't remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure this girl was, like, kind of already upset with me. And then I was walking like that, and I whacked her in the face, and she was just so not happy with me.
remember my first grade teacher she had like a little carpet for us that way if we were tired we could sleep and i remember one day like i don't think i was actually tired i just i didn't want to do something so i was like i'm tired and she let me sleep and the rest of the class went to go do something while i got to stay and i got to rest and i can't remember what we were doing but we had to like actually go into the hallway and like I don't know, I can't remember what they were doing. But I didn't have to do it because I pretended that I was sleepy and then I just like closed my eyes because I actually wanted to try and fall asleep because I felt like I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I was tired or not. I can't really remember the details because this was first grade. But I just remember I did not fall asleep and the main reason for me like telling her I was sleepy was just because I didn't want to do whatever we were doing. The second grade teacher was so evil. I don't really think I've ever had like another teacher as evil as her. I remember one time she got so mad at us and she was about to tell us to shut up and like we were in second grade I think this lady she was just a cranky person I don't know but she especially did not like me because one thing about me is like when I was younger I was such a loud child I wasn't a bad child I was just a loud child so she obviously wanted peace and quiet in her class and I did not add to peace and quiet I made it worse so yeah like one time she just yelled and she was like you guys need to shut your mouths story is that one time i pretty i liked this person in like what what was it third grade i think this happened in third grade or fourth i can't remember it was one of those but anyways i had liked this guy right and then it was recess time and he came down from like the slides and because my friends was like my friends were pushing me to go say hi to him but i didn't want to and they like pushed me and then he came down at the slides at the same time that he pushed me and we locked eye contact and oh my gosh you guys sorry anyways we still do go to the same school went to middle school with him now we're in high school and he was actually in my class freshman year two years ago and now he's gonna be in my class again i mean no 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 sorry i'm like mixing my words up he was in my class again last year which was sophomore year and then this year hopefully he's not in any of my class. i mean not that i care i don't care i just like i don't know i just thought that would be fun to throw in there in grade this guy he was like a bully to me and i don't know he was just mean to me for no reason and his name his name was kush so kush if you're watching this watch out but anyways yeah i remember one time i didn't tell him something because my friend told me not to tell anyone and he came and it was like dismissal time and he came up behind me in the dismissal line and he like he was a villain bro he like came up to me and he whispered in my ear and he was like if you don't tell me what so and so said I'm gonna tell everyone that you eat bugs. <laughs> what? Like, tell me that's not villain behavior, bro. Like, who says that? Anyways, I did end up telling him because I didn't want people to think I ate bugs. So I told him what happened. And I felt really guilty because my friends were not to tell anyone. And then I ended up telling him. But I don't even think the secret was like that serious. Now that I'm like, I don't remember what it was, but I just, I don't think it was that serious. We we're in second grade, like, it's not gonna be that serious also in second grade like before i actually like the school year started we had this it wasn't an orientation but you got to like walk your classes go it was meet the teacher oh my gosh i remember it was meet the teacher we had to meet the teacher right and i was in my class and then i saw this one girl and she made eye contact with me and i looked at her and she just stared at me and then i stared back at her and then school starts and then it's like the first or second day of school and she's like do you want to be friends or something like that i don't know what happens but we ended up being friends and we were friends like the whole first semester i always went to her house this that well almost the whole first semester until a new girl comes to her class and let, let's just say her name is um maggie we'll say her name's maggie it was close to maggie it wasn't maggie but it was close to maggie anyways new girl maggie comes in and then her and my og friend will call her Oh, I was about to actually say her name. We'll call her Mary. So Maggie and Mary get really close. And I got like jealous because like I was like, Mary was my friend first. And then you came and you took her from me. And I wasn't happy about that. And then because I don't think I would have been jealous. But the thing is, Mary started spending all her time with Maggie. And they started like leaving me out of stuff. And I was just like, bro, like I was your OG friend. What's going on? Anyways, I think that Maggie was a little crazy, and her and Mary did not end up on good terms. I didn't really care, though, because I was moving schools. I was going to move schools, like, after that school year, though. But anyways, like, I was looking happy that they didn't, because I was like, ha. 
you should have stayed with me instead of moving on to this girl who just came out of nowhere and then y'all became besties when we were originally besties. Anyways, this yap sesh has gone over its limit, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! <gasps> what the heck? Okay, bye. flight home from Paris, it chewed me up and spit me back out. So it's time for some maintenance, self-care, post-travel reset. First order of business is to oil up the face and it could really use the hydration. The plane always sucks so much hydration out of my face and in general the rest of my body too. I'm just gonna gua sha really quick with that oil and then go in with microblading. I've gotten a lot of questions about microblading like whether I do it or not and if I do what my routine is, how often I do it. I try and do it once a week if I can but if not once every two weeks. Sometimes I just be forgetting. Next little orders of business, rehydrate my skin and do the lashes. Okay, for microblading, I leave the oil on my face from gua sha and I use a facial razor. These are from the cream shop. I'll have them linked on my Amazon. And I just kind of go in a downward motion. My forehead has the most fuzz of all time. Like, look at that. Now that I look like a crazy person, I'm gonna go wash my face and the blade. When my skin is super dehydrated, I like to take toner pads and just let them sit on my face for however long I feel like they need to. These are the the Mixun soybean milk pads and honestly sometimes I like to bring these on the plane with me but I just forgot. It comes with three in the pack so I just put one on each cheek and then split the last one for my chin and my forehead. While that's sitting I'm gonna do my at home eyelash extension method. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I do this I have one pinned and then I have a tab on my account that says lashes as well with like a ton of videos. Lash number one on, seven more to go. Once I done I look actually insane. Both eyes are now done. Now I gotta take off these sheets and rub the rest of the juices in and voila we have a new woman i love you guys bye get ready for my first ever volleyball camp we are looking rough like a six hour travel day yesterday so tired first thing to say me lumify i'm almost out of them no i do hopefully that works it was literally just bubbling i'm currently in keokuk iowa this could actually be one of the smallest towns i've ever been to so the girl that's showing me around and runs the event space the lab here in keokuk where my camp is going to be at picked me up from the airport which keep in mind the closest airport is like two hours from here okay the drops already held my eyes so much which for me that's like mind-blowing just with how much i travel but she said their closest chick-fil-a in chipotle is like 45 minutes away was two starting to speak okay so we have two camps today it's 8 to 11 and then 12 30 to 3 30 actually so excited i just accumulated all like my favorite girls and games and put them all together so i'm hoping the girls or you girls if you're watching love them as much as i did i'm actually gonna want to jump in and play with them one of the games is ace and replace literally my all-time favorite game i remember playing that in college and club and it was just oh, it was so much fun i miss it i feel like you don't cherish those moments and camps until after the fact like years down the road now that i don't really play volleyball anymore i'm actually getting a little carried away with my makeup right now i don't know why i was about to do like a full beat for a makeup for a volleyball camp oh my gosh i can't speak i need coffee speaking of the coffee shop downstairs did just open put my hair up and go down there should i do a pony or the business bun. See what the business bun looks like. Bring it back. Wait, this literally, oh my god, just brought me back to college so hard. The business bun. All right, I'm doing pony today. Love these little headbands too. I just feel like they're more healthier for my hair and like don't rip my hair out. Okay, let's go get a coffee. We're back with a coffee. Ice vanilla latte, blueberry bagel, and cream cheese. To fuel this perfect day. A little bit of my favorite gloss right now. Let me show you all the fit. My eyes, oh my gosh. Those Lumify drops are really kicking. Here's the fit. We have their the lab sweatshirt. That's the event place that we're having this at. Leggings, these Adidas shoes, and then I have like a little Lululemon tank on underneath. We're gonna do it the pop-up bagel way in New York. I'm not sure how this will compare to New York bagel, but I also don't think I've ever had a blueberry bagel. I like it. Definitely not a New York bagel though. Okay, so you summon you all at camp. Hope everybody has an amazing day. Cheers! Tips on how to talk to men. Well, men scare me, but these are my tips. Rule number one is literally say whatever the fuck you want. I say that because, like, if you like me, like, you like me, I'm not gonna spend all my hours trying to get you to feel some type of way about me saying whatever, like, you want me to say. I'm also the type of girl that will, like, call you out. Like, if I think you're being weird, I'll be like, stop being a fucking weirdo.
and i know a lot of girls aren't like that but i'm not saying do what i do it's my personality like i'm brooke carlson also do not always be like what are you up to i want to see you like if he really wants to see you trust me girl like he's gonna initiate plans with you and if he doesn't then he really doesn't want to see you that much and if not just like move on i promise you you'll find someone who wants to see you that much because the right person will always make time for you another tip that i have is like get them to talk about themselves you do not want to be the only one talking i promise you because like if you're the only one talking it's kind of weird and men love to talk about themselves but like you know keep like a good balance in the conversation thank you